I left my three-month-old daughter at home alone. Just so I could go to a nightclub. And in order to keep her from screaming, I dipped her pacifier in honey. Here you go. Mommy will go dance and be right back. My Mia looked just like her father. But unfortunately, he never saw her. I couldn't even send him a photo of her because he blocked me everywhere. One day, I managed to find out in which club he was playing. Unfortunately, as I was about to enter the club, my mother called me. The first thing she asked me was where I was and why it was so noisy. Mom! Mia and I are at home. Where else would we be in the middle of the night? It's just noise from the TV. Her shift ended in two hours. And that was the time I had to convince Joe that he was Mia's father. Someone lied and told him that I had cheated on him. And the child was not his. And I knew who that person was my best friend Erica. She was always around my boyfriend, and when she saw me, she told security to keep me away from Joe. However, I wasn't going to give up just like that and disabled the equipment, so Joe would finally pay attention to me. And it worked! <laughs> Joe was happy to see me and led me to his dressing room. He hoped that I had solved the problem regarding the child and that we could have fun again. What do you mean, solve the problem? Don't you understand? I think orphanages are still open. I explained to Joe that she was his child and that I had to leave her alone to convince him of that. Look, she has your eyes, lips and nose. Let's go home. You have to meet her. It doesn't matter whose child it is. It'll just bother us. Joe turned on his charm again and admitted that most of all, he wanted to be with me again and not my boring friend Erica. <gasps> but his magic didn't oh. work on me anymore. I looked at him and couldn't believe that I had left my daughter alone for that rotten man. I never believed that it was possible to fall out of love just like that. Now I do. Goodbye. My words obviously hurt Joe's pride. He angrily shouted that I would regret my decision and locked me in the dressing room. Then I heard him calling social services and given them my address. I can hear a baby crying next door. Looks like someone left a small child in attendant. I smashed my fist against the door and begged him to let me out. Joe just <laughs> left. I'll make you change your mind. They'll take your daughter away and you will crawl back to me. I was desperate and was about to kick the door down. Suddenly, it opened. Erica freed me. Joe was lying on the floor next to her, holding on to his groin. Erica apologized to me and said she had no idea that Joe was so vile. We got into her car and drove home at full speed. But we failed to get there on time. Social workers were already in my house. I was ready to get on my knees in front of them. Do anything so they wouldn't take my baby away. 
However, as we got closer, I breathed a sigh of relief. My mother opened the door. I'm sorry, the baby is teething. The neighbors will have to endure her crying. Social workers made sure that no one had left the child alone. And I thanked the heavens that my mother had come home earlier from work. As it turned out, she had a feeling I wasn't home when she called me. So she just left work. I rushed to my Mia. But my mother was in no hurry to give me my daughter back. <gasps> Are you sure you can take care of her? If not, I understand. You're still very young. Yes, mom. I love her more than life. I just wanted her to grow up in a complete family. With a mom and a dad. It was wrong and irresponsible of me to leave Mia alone. But that moment was a turning point for me. I realized that she didn't need a father like Ja. And I promised her that I would love her twice as much. Remember, being alone is better than being with people who don't value you.